this is the highest frequency my CPU will boot at on the multiplier, which is uh, 150, no, one. <clears throat> it's like 160 or something. You can find your CPU multiplier like this. You go to clock gen, and you'll get this cool utility. It'll tell you all your clocks, well, some of them. See, my FSB and my CPU, and this is my PCI Express and my PCI. But you can also choose the control. Now, you want to be really careful with this because, uh, oh, it sets the wrong thing. Not specified. Read clocks. Now, it'll tell me my clocks, and my CPU kind of throttles a little bit. So you got the setup. And only if you have certain types of motherboards, which I'm going to include the readme in the description, should you mess with this. You know why? I corrupted Windows somehow using this. And you want to know how I do that? Uh, I set something in the setup. I just chose a random one. I went to clocks. And I went to PLL control. And I messed with this. And I set to like, uh, let's see, 3 gigahertz. Boom, crash. Windows didn't start again for some weird reason. So uh, it was made by CPU ID, which also makes speed fan. And speed fan is a good temperature monitoring uh, program. Well, no, never mind. Speed fan is made by someone else. I'm getting mixed up here, but anyways, so you know all that and. You should overclock, but be careful and get a program called SpeedFan. I'm also going to include this. Now you see this will tell you your CPU usage, your CPU temperature. You can put your speeds up. Yeah, Smart, this tells you your hard disk health. Mine are good. And uh, you have charts. Damn it. Okay, so charts. Temperatures for the CPU, this is telling me a little graph of how the CPU has been doing. It's been getting pretty hot, but not very hot. Now anyways, armed with that knowledge, you can overclock. But be careful, okay? I'm not going to be um, responsible if you overclock too high. And if you want to make your overclock more stable, here's one more thing. <laughs> Increasing voltage. Have something like this, you can increase the voltage, but only increase it a little. Increasing the amount of electricity to the component will make the overclock more stable since it has more electricity available to it, and it can go faster like that. But you can fry out your shit, and there's a quadratic increase every time you increase the voltage. So if you doubled the voltage, it would be four times as hot, and we don't want that. So... Anyways, armed with that knowledge, you go ahead and overclock. Not responsible if your shit gets fried or anything. And I told you how to mount monitor your temperatures, remember. And that's all for now. This is Frosty Owens going out.